<clears throat> hey, good morning, everyone. Happy Wednesday. Rob here from Southwest Florida Television. A little later than usual for my live feed, but if you check my posts, you may have even joined us. You will see I was with Roy earlier this morning. So actually, I had a nice little conversation with him while he was on his exercise bike during his physical therapy session this morning. Beautiful out here. A little bit overcast. We do have a tropical system to the southwest of us. All in all, though, things are beautiful here. Looks like we're at low tide. No red tide, thankfully. Thank goodness for that. A beautiful, beautiful Wednesday morning here at Del Nor Wiggins. This is going to be kind of a short beach walk this morning. I hope you got to see the story that our local CBS affiliate did, the short little story with Roy yesterday. They featured that on the 5 o'clock news. I did share the link, so be sure to check that out. Roy wanting to spread the news, spread the word about all the little germs lurking out here, things people don't think about. Boy, the, there was a bunch of birds here on the sandbar and they just, all of a sudden, they just all took off. When I checked in at the front gate this morning, the rangers said they had seen some dolphins out here this morning. So I'm sure they'll be back throughout the day. I haven't been out here for a couple days. I just could not resist the temptation of coming out here and getting a little bit of fresh air out here. I can tell you, Roy, Roy definitely misses the beach here. This is Roy's second home. Well, actually, I think the beach is Roy's first home. <laughs> So quiet and peaceful out here this morning. I'm up in area four. Oh, the water looks really nice. Really nice. No signs of that red tide out here, thankfully. You know, the one thing that I want to stress, and they didn't mention that in last night's news report, but the, the bacteria that Roy got, the flesh-eating bacteria, that had nothing to do with the red tide. That's a whole, that's a different, that's a, a different type of uh, bacteria that's always out in the water. It's not only in the Gulf, it's also in, can be found in fresh water too. So it's, you really need to study up on flesh-eating bacteria, learn the difference. We've got that, and that's kind of a guarded secret here in Southwest Florida and Florida, Southern Florida. You only hear about it when somebody contracts it. 
but by no means is it an epidemic or anything. It mostly pretty much never affects anyone. But when it does, it can be dangerous. If you have a low immune system, an open sore, an open wound, you probably, it's a good idea to stay out of the water. Any water. Even a swimming pool, for that matter. I mean, it's just all pretty much common sense. Or just out here. Water is beautiful. That feels great too. Park ranger at the front gate said nothing out of the ordinary today. Things are going the way they should be this morning. Look at the birds flying by. Absolutely beautiful out here. Gorgeous Wednesday morning. Probably kind of late for shelling out here. Most of the diehard shellers come out early in the morning. I still wanted to come out and just share the beauty with you. Like I said, it's been a few days. It looks like the tide is coming in here. There's a nice little Florida fighting conch shell down here. You find lots of these on the beach. There's a little old, old lightning whelk. Just washed up. That's an old one. It's all it's faded, lost all pretty much all of its color. A lightning whelp. Just rolled up here at my feet as I was walking by. How neat is that? When the tide is low like this, it's a, if you're really into shelling, it's Probably a good idea to just wade out into the water a little ways. A lot of nice shells get caught up on the sandbar. Don't make it up to the beach. You can see there's a fighting conch shell right down there. But you never know what you're gonna find out in the shallows here. Especially now that the water is clearing up. Or just standing out here, just listening to the waves.
The only thing that's missing here is Roy. Be sure to watch the little video I did with him this morning, the little live feed. He was in really good spirits this morning. Really good spirits. I'm gonna take a photo. Hang on one second. Loving it out here this morning. Boy, let's keep everybody up on our seaboard coastline there, up in the Carolinas, South Carolina, North Carolina, Virginia, all those folks. Let's keep them in our thoughts and prayers as Hurricane Florence approaches them. Living down here in Southwest Florida, we know what hurricanes are all about. We had our run in with Hurricane Irma last year, still recovering from Hurricane Irma. There's still homes with blue tarps on the roofs. Looking down to the south. Oh, looks like a little baby lightning whelk shell here on the beach. See what kind of shape that's in. Ooh, it's a nice one. Hey, a nice little baby lightning whelk. I didn't think I was going to find any shells today. There's a nice little baby lightning whelk. That's a great little specimen. Again, the water is absolutely gorgeous here. Really clearing up nice. There's some kind of boat out there. I don't know if you can see it. Some kind of research boat out there. Got some yellow lights flashing on it. There's a diver down in the water. I know there's a reef out there. That's about where the reef is, where that boat is. Maybe they're checking to see what effects the red tide had on the reef. Beautiful out here, 82 degrees right now. Expecting a high of oh, up around 91 degrees today. A little bit of a breeze, a little breeze. It's like a nice little scallop shell down there. Yeah. There's a great little scallop shell. Beautiful. One of the more common shells here, the scallop. That's a nice little one there. You can find some pretty big ones every once in a while. All different colors. Something else we see a lot of are these worm shells. The worm tips, these are the tips of the worm shells. Fairly common here. Yeah, the tide is definitely on its way back in here. Fortunately, no signs of that dirty, nasty red tide here. The beach appears to be really clean. Oh my goodness. How could somebody walk by this? Oh, I know why. 
beautiful, a beautiful crown conch, but then I picked it up and flipped it over. It's got a big chip in it. One of my favorite shells, the crown conchs. That's got some really nice color there, the crown conch. There's another common little shell. For all you cat lovers out there, the little kitten paw, the kitten paw shell. You can always find these on the beach, the little kitten paws. There's a hunk of a worm shell, a big fat chunk of worm shell down here. Remember I just I showed you the tips of these. Here's a chunk of the shell. I showed you the two, a couple of worm tips just a few minutes ago. Beautiful Wednesday here. Happy hump day, everybody. I was really surprised. I went to see Roy early this morning. Now that he's taking the initiative to get himself up out of bed, he is taking himself outside in the mornings. That is awesome. He's going out for sunrise. But I was surprised that when I got there a little after seven, Ooh, there's a little fighting conch shell. Little baby fighting conch. But anyway, I got to the nursing facility there a little bit after seven and Roy was already sitting outside with his therapist doing his exercises. I was all ready to go sit down and have a chat with him. But lo and behold, he was already working out. That was a great sign. So I just kind of hung around with him and then when we went inside, there wasn't anybody else around, so that's when I decided to do that little live feed with him this morning. Make sure you watch that. He was in great spirits. Told us one of his jokes. I think he forgot he was on the, the exercise there, the exercise bike. He got a nice little workout while he was talking to us this morning. Not, not a whole lot of birds out here. They're usually out here earlier in the morning, sitting out here on the sandbar. There's a couple, the turns. These are mostly turns out here at the end. Chirping away. You can see that research boat out there, the dive boat. Well, that's about out where the reef is. You've heard me mention there's a reef out here. About where that boat is, is where the reef is. It kind of parallels the beach. Couple gulls here, a couple little sandpipers. But the majority of these birds are terns.
fun listening to them, isn't it? Lots of little feathers out here. Lots of little feathers out here on the sandbar. If you're into collecting feathers, just don't go running towards the birds. Try not to startle them. Give them their space. Respect all the wildlife here at the park. For anybody not familiar with the park here, anybody new to my morning beach walks, that's over in that area there. That's where our friend Roy would be sitting underneath those trees. That's where he and I would have our morning conversations. And a lot of times he'd break out his harmonica for me. Hopefully those days are gonna return here soon. This is kind of a man-made sandbar over here. Up to the north is Wiggins Pass, part of the na namesake of this park. Up where you see that pine tree up there, that's Wiggins Pass. And they had to dredge that out. Hurricane Irma filled it all in. And then after Irma, we had a couple storms throughout the summer. So they dredged that pass out and they pumped the sand with a big pipe down to here. And it kind of created this big sandbar out here. So every once in a while, some really neat things turn up here as the tides uncover them. I mean, there's things that were buried up at Wiggins Pass for nobody knows how long. And every once in a while, you'll find some really, really old shells, shark's teeth, interesting things. There's a, another little beautiful little scallop shell down here. Very similar to the other one that I showed you earlier. Beautiful shells, the scallops. That's kind of the, I think the traditional shell shape when people think of a seashell, they think of that scallop with those little wings down there at the bottom. Looks like a little fan, the scallop shells. Another fairly common shell we have here at Delnor Wiggins are the mossy arc shells, the mossy arc. Looks like another a broken scallop. You can see it in different colors there that we have. Never hurts to walk out into the water a little ways. I don't have my bathing suit on here this morning, so I gotta be, I don't wanna get wet out here. It's always nice to come out into the water when you're shelling. Take a look around. I'm gonna take a quick photo of Roy's beach over there. Sorry about that interruption. I have to get out of the video mode to take the photo.
There's some another something interesting down here. A piece of worm rock. That's always fun to look at. We've got worm shells and worm rock. You see all the little worm tubes there. Sometimes you can find some really big pieces of this worm rock on the beach. Let's see, I think I saw a worm tip down here somewhere. Unless the waves just pulled it out. Yeah, piece of a worm shell. There's an old, this is a piece of an old pear whelk here. Uh, maybe that was a lightning whelk. Nope, this is an old lightning whelk. Piece of an old lightning whelk. Pear whelks are a lot smoother. This is a piece of an old lightning whelk. Not much left of it. Other fun shells we have here are the moon shells, the shark eye shells. I don't see any offhand here. I'm looking. Here's another scallop. Remember the other scallops we saw were kind of red? This is more of an orangish colored scallop shell here. There's a little piece of a larger lightning whelk. Just a piece of one. Nice colors on that. Oh, an old fighting conch shell. It's turning black. Hmm. That's an old one. Boy, lots of little worm, worm shells down here. A little pile of worm. Worm tips and worm shells. Just a little pile of them. Look at them all. All the little worm tips. Lots of them right along this little stretch of the sandbar. Little auger shells over here. Drill shells. all kinds of neat little shells. When you stop and look, you find all kinds of little treasures. Look at this. Little tiny things. Beautiful. This is how I met Roy, just walking along the beach, picking up shells, sharing what I knew about them with our friends, and Roy finally was curious enough to ask me what I was doing. And that's how we, I tried to explain to him about Facebook and doing live feeds, and he really didn't grasp the concept, but he was a good sport, and we struck up some conversations, and it just, the friendship grew and grew from there. Look at all these worm shells down here. This is all worm shells. All down here. Amazing. Amazing, amazing. Here's one, here's a worm tip with a little bit of the shell on it. Every once in a while, if you're lucky, you'll find one of these, oh, maybe 10 inches, eight to 10 inches long. They're really super fragile. So you're really lucky when you find one on the beach that big. But for some reason, there was a pile of them here this morning. But all, see here's a, a longer one, kind of bleached out. Here's a piece of a, piece of an angel wing shell, darn it. These are really fragile. 
These are super fragile, the angel wings. That's just a piece of one. Over here's a piece of a banded tulip shell. Another beautiful shell. There's a piece of a banded tulip. Got to straighten up here. Stretch out the old back. Stinks to get old. <laughs> Hey, if you enjoy these beach walks, if you, you know, tell your friends about it, hit the share button, let them join in with us. Be sure to like and follow Southwest Florida Television. Important to do both, like and follow. Nobody pays me to come out and do these beach walks. I love doing them. I love sharing what I know about our beach with our friends here. What little bit I know. Hopefully it gives everyone a little escape from reality. I've heard, I've seen many times people comment that this is the only way they can get to a beach. They're landlocked somewhere. This is the only chance they get to go to the beach. That makes me feel so good inside that I'm providing that opportunity for people. And what amazes me is people watch from all around the world. Just incredible. Make sure you introduce yourself. If you're new to the, to the group here, introduce yourself. Let everybody know where you're watching from. There's a piece of a beautiful lightning whelk down here, just a piece of one. Well, almost the whole lightning whelk. It's missing its tail. Beautiful colors on it though, absolutely gorgeous colors. But it's missing the stem or tail, whatever you wanna call it. Absolutely gorgeous colors. I think I might keep it, even though it's not a perfect shell. Beautiful colors. The lightning whelk. looking north up towards Bonita Springs. Low tide right now, low tide. big pine trees. This, this is what Roy calls his pine trees right here. This is his spot on the beach. This is where we could always find them. Up here in area four, the north end of area four. underneath these pine trees over here. Roy had a nice little bench placed over here under the pine trees looking out towards the water. He had it put here in memory of his late wife, Audrey. If you get a copy of his book, you'll see a picture of Audrey and Roy in there. Audrey and Roy used to spend a lot of time here at this beach. So in her memory, Roy had this bench placed here. On the bench are two plaques. 
in Audrey's honor. Dearest Audrey, you'll always be with us, will always be loved. And over here on the right is a poem that Roy wrote and for their wedding day when they got married in Hawaii. A time of love, a time of prayer, a time to tell we really care, a time to dance, a time to sing, a time to hear the heavens ring, a time to leave the outworn way, a blessed time, a newborn day, a time for comradeship and friends, a time, a time that never ends. Beautiful. And Roy wrote that for Audrey on their wedding day. I almost hear Roy playing his harmonica here. I can almost hear it in the background. I kind of feel Audrey's presence out here. I can't wait for Roy to be back out here. He can't wait to be back out here. He's not gonna go swimming anymore, but he will be back out here walking the beach, he promises. And we've got some new stories to share when he comes out here. We've been saving them for the beach. Please keep Roy in your prayers. He is recovering. He's actually doing very well, and he's in very, very good spirits, as you could tell from this morning's video. Well, I see a piece of a moon shell down here, not much of one. Not much left of that moon shell or shark's eye, also called a shark's eye. I think I'm going to turn around, maybe make one more quick little walk on the sandbar. It's a short beach walk this morning, but I really wasn't expecting to get out to the beach at all this week. It's been very, very overcast in the evenings. I was gonna come out for sunset, but it's just really overcast and there was, there was actually nothing, no color in the sky. But as soon as it clears up, and the reason that it's overcast is because we got this tropical system down in that direction, heading towards Texas. So it's been fairly overcast, not much rain. Although last night we had a lot of lightning up to the north of us earlier in the evening, quite a lightning show. But as soon as it clears up, I'll come out and share one of our sunsets, or more than one. I'll share our next nice sunset. Like I said earlier, nobody pays me to come out and do this. I enjoy doing it. If anybody wants to make a contribution though, it's always appreciated. That money really comes in handy. Summers are slow here in Southwest Florida. Business is just starting to pick up. So any little contribution is always appreciated. You can find my PayPal account info in the description of this post a little later at the conclusion of this live feed. To those of you that have sent something, thank you so much. I'm actually starting to sweat a little bit out here. A little bit of a sweat. Oh, another. Another piece of abandoned tulip shell. Doggone it. These are my favorite shells. I wish I'd find a nice big whole one. The banded tulip shells. Beautiful shells.
Anybody just joining, if you're curious where we're at, we're up at Del Norwegian's Pass State Park, up in North Naples, Florida. We're up in area four. There's five areas at the park. Number one being the closest to the main entrance, number five being the very north end of the park. Wow, look at that big long, is that a auger shell? Look how long that is. Wow, it's got a hole in it on the other side. That's a neat looking shell though. That's pretty cool. At high tide, this sandbar pretty much goes underwater. Can you believe that? That's why there's shells all covering the entire thing. Lots of fighting conks out here. Lots of Florida fighting conch shells out here on the sandbar. Some other common shells, the cockle shells. There's a nice cockle shell. Love it out here. I can never say that enough. I love coming out here to the beach. There are so many people that live just minutes away from here and take it for granted. They never come out. And a lot of and folks up north just can't understand that, how somebody would take something like this for granted. People pay so much money to vacation down here or to have a second home down here just to come down here in the winter and take advantage of this paradise. This paradise that I call home. Some pelicans flying by there. Well, the sun's really dipped in behind the clouds now. So the colors out here aren't popping like they normally, like they normally do. It's been overcast for about the past three days. Again, all of our friends in the Carolinas, Georgia even, Virginia, all along the seaboard coastline, please, please keep them in your prayers as Hurricane Florence approaches them. Hopefully, hopefully things won't be as bad as they're predicting. But please, everybody, prepare for the worst. Prepare for the worst. I've been through several hurricanes. Preparation is very important. If they tell you to evacuate, evacuate. Especially if you're down along the shoreline. It's better to be safe than sorry. People forget that with hurricanes come tornadoes. They just spin off out of those hurricanes and they create a lot of damage. And although your home might withstand the hurricane, those little tornadoes, you never know. So it's best to get out. 
all the little terns out here on the beach. A couple seagulls. Oh, there they go. Every once in a while they just all take off, fly around in a big circle, and then they come back. Isn't that beautiful? It's actually the fire department out there with their buggy. North Naples Fire Department. That's their beach rescue vehicle. Well, thanks for tuning in this morning. I hope you have a wonderful Wednesday. Don't forget about Roy. Keep those cards coming. Those cards make his day. Those beautiful, beautiful cards and letters coming from so many people. He really appreciates that. Take some time to check out all of my photos and videos here on Facebook. I'm sure you're gonna find something you like. And when you do, hit the like and share button help spread the word about Southwest Florida television. Every day we gain a few more followers. Again, thanks for watching. For Southwest Florida television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.